one of the things we were talking about was um, your outside plant, you know, you're at 550 megahertz and you kind of made the decision, um, you know, I guess one option would be upgrade to 750 to 8 gigahertz, 860 giga, uh, megahertz. Um, that would be one option. Another option is to go an all digital route. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that evolution? Well, I mean, Leonard and I sat down uh, with our CFO and we started putting pen to paper as to the, the, the magnitude of the project. Uh, looking at the, the transparent video product, what it was going to cost for you know, the head end equipment, uh, the uh, set top boxes, everything, you know, the whole aspect, where, you know, what, what that dollar was going to be, and then compare that to uh, a total rebuild of the system so that we could expand our, you know, our digital platform another way, basically running a total simulcast. Um, you know, and really the numbers came back to where you know, we were looking at uh, less than you know less than a million dollars well less than a million dollars to go with the, the the transparent video as compared to rebuilding rebuilding was going to end up costing us somewhere between three three to four million dollars you know a little bit of quick math there and it was like you know, hello you know, you know figured out on one hand but uh, it was definitely more cost effective to go with the you know the the transparent video which in the long run has really paid off I mean it's 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 made dollars and cents for 